Hey, Psych2Go family. Thanks so much for all the love and support that you continue to give us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology more accessible to everyone. So let's begin. Do you know anyone struggling with depression? Is it your family member, a close friend, or someone you suspect? If so, if you're not sure how to confront them without making things worse, we made this video on things to avoid when talking to someone with depression. We hope you find it helpful. Sometimes a well-intended remark can be misconceived as something hurtful or ignorant. So it's very important that you know how to be careful with your words. Here are five things you should never say to someone who's depressed. One, you're not trying hard enough. Now, some of you might feel that this one is pretty obvious, but a lot of people are actually guilty of saying this to someone with depression. Telling them things like, you need to work harder at getting better, or it's because you're not doing this or that enough, discourages them and makes them feel as if you don't understand how hard it actually is to be depressed. You may believe that happiness is a choice, but depression is definitely not. Sometimes it's because of things that are out of a person's control, like their genetics, traumatic experiences, or the chemical imbalances in their brain. So be sure not to make them feel as if you blame them for any of it. Two, it's all in your head. And this is another common mistake a lot of people make when they try to confront someone with depression. Though we might not see it, mental illness is just as real and serious as any physical illness, sometimes even more so because of all the stigma surrounding it. In fact, a book titled Depression, The Misunderstood Illness, written by Dr. Leslie Lim in 2008, shows that depression is the most misunderstood mental illness of them all. Depression is different from the occasional bout of sadness you might feel during times of hardship. It's not as simple as going through the normal ups and downs of life. People struggling with depression often find it hard to get out of bed, eat, sleep, or do anything worthwhile. So you shouldn't tell them that they're simply overreacting or making a big deal out of everything. Three, you have nothing to be depressed about. Another common misconception most people have on depression is that there's a specific cause for it. In truth, according to a 1998 study by Ingram, Miranda, and Sagal, anyone can have depression, no matter how popular, wealthy, or accomplished. When you tell someone with depression that they shouldn't be depressed because they have no reason to be, you may come off as insensitive and unsympathetic. Though your intentions might be to remind them of all the blessings that they have in life and all the reasons they have to be happy, this isn't a good way of going about it. Instead, you're making them feel like they're ungrateful. Four, you seem fine to me. You don't seem depressed to me, or you look okay to me. It may sound like a compliment to you, but to someone who's depressed, it may seem as if you're invalidating their feelings and struggles. Saying this will make the person feel bad for confiding in you in the first place. It can erode their trust in you and make them more guarded instead of more open with you. And number five, I know how you feel. When you say this, you're most likely trying to convey sympathy and understanding. However, to people who are depressed, it may feel disingenuous or offensive. Unless you've ever been diagnosed with clinical depression by a licensed professional, you don't actually know how the other person feels or what they're going through. Don't offer them advice that trivializes their struggles. Depression can't be cured with just a bit of exercise or sleep, a cup of chamomile tea or some new friends and hobbies. It takes a lot of dedication, hard work, resilience, and inner strength. If you have someone in your life who's depressed and you wanna be there for them, offer them a hug or a shoulder to cry on. Help them see that there is hope and that things can get better. Let them know you care about them and that they're not alone in this. You might not completely understand or know what to say, but it'll mean a lot to them if you show them that they're not alone and that you truly do care. If you know someone who may benefit from online counseling, we've actually partnered up with BetterHelp. It's an affordable online counseling platform that you can utilize. They're constantly striving to improve their services and terms and conditions. And the link will be in the description below. What did you think of these points so far? Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to Psych2Go for more psychology content and don't forget to like and share this video with someone who might be able to benefit from it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.